Uh, I'm Anup Vijaykumar from the class of 2006. I'm uh, Director for Strategic Marketing with Honeywell in India. In my role, I lead uh, strategy and execution for our automation and control solution businesses in, for Honeywell. I'm an engineer uh, by undergraduate qualification from uh, Mumbai University. I majored in electronics uh, and then I worked in uh, technology, which is uh, in IT application development with Infosys for about four years before I came to ISB. Two reasons. One is, uh, as I uh, did my role as an IT analyst for one of our biggest clients in North America, I realized that a lot of decisions that are made about investments, whether it is IT or any other area of the business, are taken using certain tools and techniques and frameworks, which I didn't at that point uh, possess to be able to really uh, add significant value to the business, which is what made me think about adding to that skill set by, by doing an MBA. So I was fairly clear that I did not want to spend two years away from industry having worked for about four years, uh, which is why I looked at one year programs only. And out of those, uh, ISB kind of stood out as one of the most uh, suitable and uh, prominent ones that I considered. Before coming to ISB, uh, to be fair, uh, I was not very clear where is it that an MBA was going to take me, except to to be fairly clear that I wanted to wanted it to open up a significant number of opportunities uh, in terms of strategy, marketing, operations, finance that I could consider to apply my skills to based on what um, I would really be drawn to as a subject area at ISB. The thing that hit me as soon as I joined ISB was how rigorous the, the entire curriculum was and how much content there was uh, in the eight terms that made up uh, make up the program. But in addition to that, it was really the, the diversity of the peer group that I worked with that, uh, that kind of stood out. Sharing uh, experiences with folks who've been in the armed forces or had run their own businesses or had been senior executives in in their own, in, in various companies, uh, really broadened the kind of perspectives and the discussions that we had about, uh, you know, the case studies that we would discuss in class, and uh, which which may, which played a, played a great role in preparing me for what to expect once I had graduated out of IIT. Key takeaways are that um, there is a whole world of opportunity out there for for someone who is willing to to learn and add new skills. Uh, what ISB did was to really reignite uh, curiosity about various aspects of how the world functions, be it business or analytics or technology. And uh, post that, I've, I've sort of looked to keep abreast of all new emerging topics and keep sort of educating myself as, I, as I've gone along, which is the biggest takeaway that I've, I've had from ISB. I think what ISB gave me is, is a tool set uh, to be able to look at any given problem and then uh, attack it in a structured manner and to look at applying the various aspects of uh, the various frameworks and theories that we learned in class, which kind of lent itself very well to the field of consulting. Um, and as a consultant, I worked across a fairly broad range of business problems, ranging from uh, you know, a five-year strategy that a company should develop versus how can they cut costs in the immediate term. Um, you know, in, to, to get results in the next quarter. So what ISB did was to really give me the confidence and the skill set necessary to approach any given problem, however uh, unstructured or broadly defined, and actually deliver uh, tangible results. So uh, after nine years in consulting, I was uh, fairly clear that the next step was uh, for me was to take on a more uh, business leadership role, uh, something that led to a general management and a profit and loss ownership. Uh, which was something I was fairly clear about going in. And uh, what ISB again did was, the ISB brand helped in initiating conversations with uh, potential companies that I was interested in. Uh, that combined with my consulting experience really opened uh, lots of doors. Um, and I was able to sort of pick and choose and evaluate the right kind of role that I would see myself in the next five or 10 years. And the role at Honeywell I currently do is one such role that I arrived at after, after a significant number of discussions, which were probably only made possible because of my experience as a consultant and the Indian School of Business on my resume. I think one anecdote that stands out to me was uh, right in term one, where we just received our very first assignments uh, and I had a deadline to, to submit it by the next morning. And a bunch of us were sitting in the, in the LRC or the library uh, looking to complete it. And uh, from one of the tables, uh, you know, one person started saying that this was a little too much pressure to handle and they really should have been giving us a little more time to do a, an assignment as tough. Um, and as a couple more people sort of started agreeing, uh, a gentleman at my table kind of said uh, that, look, uh, real pressure is, is when you're flying low over the hills of Kargil 
with uh, militants shooting anti-aircraft missiles at you. This is just an assignment, so you know, let's get some perspective. And uh, that in a nutshell sort of brought home uh, that what we were doing there was rigorous, sure, but it wasn't life and death. And it was really about learning and taking away as much as we could from this experience. So coming into ISB, I was, I was your typical um, software geek uh, who was much more comfortable sitting in front of a computer and coding for hours as opposed to interacting with a group of diverse people and making my points of view uh, known. What ISB did and one of the catchphrases I remember was that trauma transforms and uh, given the atmosphere and the environment we were in in terms of uh, intensely debating points of view on different business cases or presenting our, our analysis of a case in front of a class all of that led to uh, me starting to see you know a whole new set of skills that I didn't know existed within me and uh, that went a long way towards shaping what happened after ISB for me. So I've uh, come to ISB as a recruiter several times and I've been involved in recruitment for our firm um, at various schools and what's been really fascinating to see is the way the ISB brand has grown over time in terms of the credibility that it lends to potential candidates. Companies or rec recruiters who only used to look at one or two schools in the country have started looking at ISB candidates as, as fairly strong uh, uh, potentials for for roles within within their companies. Given to similar candidates, the candidate with ISB on their resume uh, resume often uh, has an advantage in terms of how they are perceived uh, uh, as having a little more of uh, world experience and and maturity in what they bring to the table.